Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and... How do you know, the quarry of this size running on uh, ADR of a tick goes very slowly. I've got methyl methacrylate in there, but I've been throwing my coal in. I haven't shown these things. They're called crates. They're from Better Storage. They're just made with four sticks and four planks, and they can kind of stick together to create sort of a... Not quite a barrel, it's sort of a just whatever, and every single time you click on them, it can only show a double chest worth of stuff at a time, but it will cycle through as you click. So, and I have a ton of obsidian in here, but I want the diamonds, and I'll take the redstone, and I guess I'll take some obsidian. The rest of it can stay in here for the moment. I've had to throw away cobble a whole bunch of times, but I'm thinking that... Make a few things to help me with that here, most directly. Oh, it's night time. Uh, so I have some carpenter's garage doors up here. They're pretty simple. I'll show you in a second. As you can see, right click on one, they all open. And I made some concrete from Railcraft, which I will also show here in a second. And I should probably show these two, although I think I might have used them all, I'm not sure. The buildcraft pipes, they're all basically the same. Kinesis pipe is a regular pipe plus redstone, and then the regular pipe is given material plus glass. So, so, and I made some clay transport pipes. It says insertion pipe, and I was like, oh, nifty, what's that do? And then I read into it, and it's like, what it does is it makes it so if one of those is attached. So say I had item pipes going past things, Right? But then there was other pipes connected to it. It would prioritize inserting into machines and I think chests before continuing on to another pipe. So it actually got some decent use to it. Now that I think about it. And I did make a metals chest. Just I made some my steel ingots and I used up all the steel so I have to do it this way. Uh 15 iron and 1 carbon makes 1 steel. So that's how I made my steel. Pretty simple. 15 iron equals 16 steel. So then it was pretty easy to make the steel. But oh, stone, you're not supposed to be in there. I know why you're in there, but you're not supposed to be in there. But I've got that sitting here. It auto condenses, except for it does not handle the. It doesn't handle silver, because silver isn't part of Railcraft, so it doesn't convert to Railcraft materials, so that's fun. But I want to get... Well, I should probably make more conduits at some point. Although, I, I can always use... Where are you? I, was, I just had you a second ago. Stone Kinesis Pipes. Although, to be honest, I only really need one, and it can go there, so yeah actually don't really need these. Uh, I will need this chest probably. So, I want to make... Actually, you know what? One of the first things I want to make... No, that's not what it's called. Uh, it's from Better Storage. Crafting Station. So that takes... Uh, it takes more work than I want to do. Uh, how much of the materials do I have on me? I need two iron. I'll need to make a crate, which is pretty simple, at least. And, of course, with these things, I always get them backwards. Crate. Uh, some planks, golden pressure plate, and some bricks. Oops. So there's the bricks. You don't need two gold for the pressure plate. And you're coming with me. No? Oh, I didn't make the pistons. Good job. Good job. Bam! So, I'm not entirely sure why it has all these slots here. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, it's, it's pretty nifty. Put your things in and they'll stay there when you exit it out. Put stuff down here in case your crafts take multiple of the same item that don't stack. And so that kind of fits into the theme of that a little bit better. But I want to move on to the laser. 
So I need one laser. Uh, I'm probably going to need my diamonds, so I don't want to use all those. Shift clicking them out goes in here, so that's actually kind of convenient. I'll leave those in there then. And I'll need an assembly table, which will take five diamonds in total. Uh, take all of that then. I'm quite happy that there is a gear, a gold gear that is provided by Thermal Foundation that is plenty simple to make. I think I can set these up so a machine can extract from them, possibly. Not sure on that. I'll have to figure that one out. But we'll put down our assembly table. There was a mod, I think it's called NEI Integration, that makes it so if I search for a chipset, actually, if we search for, say, robot, and I click on this, it'll actually show the assembly table recipes, which that is absolutely ridiculous. So, why did I make this? I want to get logistics pipes going. Uh, so, I can make this with a gold gear, or I can make it with a golden chipset, which is going to take a fairly long time to do. Uh, mm, I'll run six through. Hey, spider! Uh, this one. I realize I just clicked on a whole bunch of tanks before even clicking on what I was trying to click on, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, and the chest. Buildcraft pipes do take a little while to realize when power needs to go where it goes, so in some cases I think I might put in like a buffer capacitor if I'm doing those, but I plan to primarily use those for long distance transfers, and then drop those into a capacitor and then do a short range conduit transfer, so... That, that's, that's for future plans, though. But I do want to get logistics pipes going. I'm going to need a power junction. Uh, Spendy-ish. I used ore tripling via the decomposer and the synthesizer to get a bunch of uh, ore. So, pretty good there. I'll take that. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to start... Whoops synthesizing diamonds soon, simply because diamonds are used in so many things. Uh, I'm going to put this down, but I'm not going to hook it in, actually. If I'm going to do that, I should do it, uh, I'll do it here. And this is me re making rebar, right, I I forgot to show you carpenter's garage doors and concrete. And I accidentally made auroras, I was trying to make one of the other Z-tone blocks, but there seems to be a recipe conflict. So, I'll have to look into that. Is there concrete? I know, I'm pretty sure I had extra concrete. That's the chest from before. Hmm. I swore I had extra concrete. Oh well. Uh, that's not how you spell concrete. Concrete. So, it's four rebar, which is three iron total. Five stone and you get eight concrete. So I've got a line of concrete. This is going to continue. I'm going to put what I'm going to call the citadel in an area here. In a way the city's going to kind of branch out in in the way of like the imperial city in Cyrodiil. Uh, Oblivion style where it's distinct districts. With the citadel at the middle. But that the city may expand further. I found another zombie <clears throat> wearing one of these, and I killed him, and he dropped it, and then I combined it with this to raise its durability up. So, don't have to worry about that breaking, really. Uh, how many diamonds do I have left? There's five there, and I think there's one. One. Mm, I'm gonna make another laser. Only one. I'm going to need diamond pipes, so I'll place this down. And I should have some glass, yes. I don't believe that this works like this. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
Luckily it has the easy glass conversion, so I can do that. And while I'm on the topic of pipes, I wish to make a void pipe, which is made with a black die, a piece of redstone, and a piece of glass. Once again, this is not going to work. So I'll get eight of those, and I need, I actually want those for the thing, uh, there's a list, a thing called a list, uh, paper and one piece of cactus green. I actually don't have cactus, or green. Hmm. Oh, uh, whew, I'll have to hold off. So... I've always seen this pipe. It's called a stripes pipe. And I was always curious, what is it? So I looked it up, and it's actually really nifty. It's a combination of a block breaker and, like, an activator or a deployer. So, and it's really simple. I could just make, like, a redstone engine to power it, and, you know, every second or so it would break a block. Or you can actually feed things into it, and it will use them. So it can place blocks, it can use tools. It works with pretty much everything, I think. Uh, the only thing I'm... I'm not sure of any applications I could have for it right this second. But... It's quite useful. So that... ADR for tick... Okay, move out of my way for a second, anyway. ADR if it take 400,000 RF. Uh, this isn't being powered, is it? No. Uh, I do still have some mescaline. Not mescaline. Mescaline, I think, is what's used in the cactus. Cactus. Mescaline on the brain. Yep, from the cactus, which takes nitrogen, which I don't actually think I have any of. Do I have any nitrogen? That, the chest wouldn't even be able to answer that question. I don't believe, unless there's nitrogen in uh, here, but I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to get logistics pipes, because the sooner I can automate the production of methyl and methacrylate, the sooner I can do anything. And I'm sure you've probably noticed these. These are soul vials. Uh, it takes three fused quartz, which is four quartz and an alloy smelter to get fused quartz, and then one solarium ingot. Uh, think of these like a golden lasso or like a safari net. In fact, if I think about it like a safari net. That actually makes it easier to make than a safari net, but you can't use it in the mine factory reloaded auto spawner. But I don't have any plans to really head towards that anytime soon. Oh, pool of lava. So, I can use it on... No? Huh? Can't use it on animals? So I guess it's... It's different, I suppose. I think it's primarily meant to be used on... Uh... Like, zombies... Zombie, Enderman. I really want the Enderman because if I can get the Enderman, then if I can find a spawner, which. So, silverfish? Broken. Mm. What? Okay. Interesting. Actually, that is pretty interesting. I didn't know that open computers could actually enter. Wait. I didn't know that there was any eye integration for stuff like that. That's interesting. But, I've got... Well, I'm going to need to come up with a... Start automating food or something eventually, but... In order to get a farming station, I have to use diamonds, and I actually want to save these diamonds because... Really? I have weather turned down really low, so it's not as annoying, but... Uh, logistics pipes will allow me to make diamonds more automated like uh, it'll allow me to make a uh, methyl methacrylate for fuel and basically once I've got fuel production going I'm pretty much set for a while 
except for I'm running out of wood, which is another one of the things that I wish to automate. But, okay, so, logistics pipes. We need cobblestone transport pipes, glass, and, you know what, I'm just going to convert this whole thing because it'll be much simpler this way. Was it stone or was it cobblestone? I've already forgotten. Cobblestone. Oh, convenient. Oops. My mouse sensitivity feels really high for some reason. Woo, eight basic logistics pipes. So, we've got that. Now, I actually want at least two of these to be uh, chassis. Uh, not one module, two modules. Eh, might as well do three modules because I can afford it. This will become pretty apparent as to why I'm doing this. I don't know if it'll be this time around because I don't think I'll be able to get a full logistics setup going because. Not the well. I do need the extractor module, but I'm gonna need extractor module mark three, which will take a diamond chipset. It will take a very long time to craft. Uh, I might actually get these sort of going, and I'll do what I can right now. Uh, not item supplier. I want a. Re Wester? What? No. Re no, no. Not, not the provider. Uh, what? Mm. Active supplier? That sounds like what I want, but I can't actually get it? Hmm. 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 This sounds slightly unpleasant. Uh, request? Let's you mean. Yeah, I actually want active supplier. I believe the active supplier is actually really stupid, simple to make. A uh, supplier logistics pipe. So if I type supply. Passive supplier, that doesn't help me. Huh. I can't make an active supplier. I'd have to make it as a pipe. Which is actually slightly unfortunate. But I can make it work. Uh, Kind of actually defeats the whole purpose of the chassis, but not quite. So, let's see. For the extractor... Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to need two extractors. Actually, we might as well just go with three. So that should enable that. And then, as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to need to run a diamond through here as well. So once it finishes this gold chipset, I'm hoping it'll do all the iron ones and it'll do a diamond. Hmm... I just realized that I'm probably going to need more diamond ones. The goal is to make extractor mark threes, because they're the only thing that can actually extract out of these at a decent rate. And then I'm going to have to find out how I'm going to deal with the demand, because I was using deep storage units in my test world, but obviously I'm having difficulties acquiring ender pearls. Which is slightly obnoxious. And I need diamonds to make a fusion chamber. If I can get a fusion chamber, I can make one ender pearl. I can make ender pearls fairly simply. It'll cost a decent bit of power. But is that coming up or going down? Uh, it's raining, so I'm just going to sleep through the night. So, 
I do want to make a fusion chamber, but I need diamonds, which means I'll have to start trying to synth diamonds, which means I'm going to have to find a good source, source of carbon. Or, let's see, oxygen is 8, carbon is 6, it's not very helpful. Huh. Uh, the only decent way to really get carbon is to pull carbon out of other things, if that makes any sense. And it takes 768 carbon to make a diamond? Uh, there's, I think, like, there's 20 in each carrot. So, that's not quite enough carrots to even hope to make that. One of the easiest solution is coal, but coal is also one of the most expensive. And I could technically make it out of the cellulose, but I don't have any sort of automated setup. So this creates a small predicament. That's going to run for a while. That's actually draining faster than I'm producing. I'm kind of in a small predicament here. I'm, I'm going to keep these on me, the uh, soul vials, because I need to be able to catch an enderman, like, the moment I see one. Right, put the bow in there. You know, I can make obsidian upgrades for these now. Upset. Nope. Upgrade. Takes. Upgrade template. I don't really have enough wood. I'm at this situation where basic materials are becoming an issue because I don't have them. In other news, I made a dark axe, but I haven't actually upgraded it yet. And as you can tell, I'm not really too concerned about using up dark steel. So I'm probably just going to keep it for the moment. I've been, been debating adding in another mod, which kind of fits with the idea of I'm going to be using Steam Power, which is Flaxbeard's Wondrous Steam Power mod. Garage doors, forgot to show you. Carpenter's blocks, and you get eight doors, but you only need I only needed five for that, because they extend downwards, I think, up to like a hundred blocks or something. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. But Flaxbeard's Wondrous Steam Power mod, it has some useful things, some not very useful things. Uh, I don't know if I could make the brass from it in any way. Well, actually... Actually, I could create a custom alloy smelter recipe that would allow me to make the brass automatically. But that would only make brass ingots and not brass plates. But then again, that would still require... I could still do that with the mod... Or I could set it up, make another alloy smelter recipe to turn the ingots into plates. I might do that, because otherwise automating the mod is a complete pain in the arse. And I'd rather not deal with that. I'm going to need to make diamonds, or hope that more diamonds flow in from the quarry. But the quarry is really slow right now. So... Yeah... And I'm going to need to find another place to start quarrying soon. I might actually try to go under that mountain-y bit there. Or maybe I should actually... Eh, now problem is distance transporting. Although, I could use a wrench in a stripes pipe to take down a capacitor. I could have a gate that checks for the power of a nearby capacitor and sends a redstone signal that does a single item it all requires that would require gates and stuff don't have the gates and stuff at the moment and I'm going to have to make a cactus because I'm going to need cactus green especially if I go to start working with liquids which I haven't gotten to yet I'm at this situation now where I'm in need of diamonds, I'm in need of things from this. Uh, 
how do I, st I want, I want you to make one of the other things. Fine, don't. See if I care. So, hmm, this is unfortunate. I've ended up in a situation where I want to do things, but now I'm kind of being limited by my own lack of things. I don't need those. Redstone can go here, that can go there, zombie head can go there. Glass, bricks, because there's no reason for the bricks to not be in there. Logistics pipes. I guess, I wanted to kind of make a list to do this, but since I don't have access to a list, I guess I'll just do it sort of manually. Oh, this is going to end up with a kind of messy response by doing this. Well, messy-ish. So, what I'm going to do... Is I want gravel, dirt, and cobble. Well, I already have cobble. So I guess that's not really a thing. Place this with this. Uh, which... green. No, stop. I don't want you deleting anything. In green, I'm going to put cobble, dirt, and that. I'm going to put that there. So now whenever cobble and dirt come rolling through, well, cobble, dirt, and gravel come rolling through, they'll get deleted, so then I don't have to empty this out ever again, pretty much. So I'll still have plenty of space. Now my only issue is whether or not I'm going to have enough power to get the whole way down there. I am obviously going to have more obsidian than I'm ever going to need. Because, well, let's face it. Let's look at uses for obsidian. An ender chest. A beacon. Making anchors. Stairs. Reinforced obsidian. I will probably make this, but all in all, it's... I don't know. I don't know on that one. Uh, corp, which, there's actually some corp blocks that I like, but, oh, and I added in Remain in Motion, which is a sort of, like, carriage frame mod type thing, which is also kind of useless to me at this exact second, and I haven't really messed with it because I'm concerned about it handling tile entities well. It should be able to handle chests and stuff, but I haven't tested it with machines, and therefore I won't trust it with machines. Uh, advanced crafting table I may or may not ever make. Probably not. Integration table I will eventually need, but not at the moment. Steam boiler, which I'm not going to be using that steam boiler. Bunch of stuff from open computers. Obsidian pipes, which I don't know whether... I probably will eventually probably use in conjunction with stripes pipes. Dark steel, obsidian dust, which I don't even think it's used in anything. Make unbreaking in the Ender.io thing. Uh, magnesium is 12. I could make carbon that way, but I don't think it's really worth it. Wait, let's see. You get... 8 magnesium per obsidian, and then that would turn into 12 carbon. Which means that every piece of obsidian is worth 1.5 coal. Then I'm going to end up with just silicon oxide, which I should be able to turn into sand. But I'm probably going to go for the witherproof first, which is going to take a lot of iron and stuff, but. At the moment, I'm pretty much just waiting for diamonds. Which actually sucks. I hate waiting for diamonds. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I didn't bring any with me. Ooh, check this out. Deletion. Get deleted, cobblestone. Nobody likes you. I am worried about this having enough power to continue. I might have to make some more methyl methacrylate. 
but I haven't quite gotten there. And I think you can burn cellulose, but it's not quite as effective. So I don't know on that, but as kind of screwed up as this was, I'm probably going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the logistics system going. And then next time I'll recap what I did with that, and then we can actually start progress on things that we need, such as power. Power's a big one, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.